Thanks for your continued interest in Pratik. This time, we mainly talk about the various functions of different draw cutters. First, let's answer the question left last time. In these work pieces, all these flight and plan parts are processed by a flat bottom cutter. It's one of the most commonly used draw cutters, mainly for small area horizontal plan processing or contour finishing milling. For this disc cutter, it's good for processing large plan component. As we can see, it has a lot of teeth. All teeth were involved in the processing. This high rigidity disc type cutter also allows large fit, which can greatly improve the production efficiency. We usually use a ball end cutter to machining curved surfaces and arc grooves. It has a higher surface finish and is the most ideal tool cutter for semi finishing and the finishing of curved surfaces. In addition to the three tool cutters just mentioned, round nose tool cutter, drills, taps, and chamfer cutters are also often used in the machining process. Round nose tool cutter combines the advantages of flat bottom cutter and ball end cutter. If a large work piece is with a little chance curved surface and more flat areas, they mostly choose a round nose draw cutter. Obviously, the drills are for drawing holes, the taps are for tapping, and chamfering draw cutter are mainly for chamfering and dabbering. Pratik will equip the machine with different draw cutters according to the customer's processing requirements. Every Pratik CNC machine has functions of milling, drawing, tapping, and chamfering. Okay, this is the last video about the tool cutter acknowledge. If you have any questions or any other want to know, please leave us messages or comments. In next issue, we will introduce the big CNC machine. See you!